Good afternoon. Welcome to Trinity United Methodist Church's Wednesday Musical Lenten Devotion. I'm Lisa Simon, Music Ministry Director. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoy this moment out of your day, please share this time with your family and friends. You can find us at trinityfwb.org, O-R-G. Our links to Facebook and YouTube are at the bottom of our webpage. Our musicians today are members of our own Trinity United Methodist Church Chancel Choir. We are so honored that they would give of their time to be with us and of their talent. Their talent is extraordinary and definitely God-given. We have singing today Floyd Strout, who has a member, been a member of Trinity United Methodist Church and the Chancel Choir for 42 years and many, many local community music groups, including Okaloosa Chamber Singers. Renee Curtis is a member of Trinity and the Chancel Choir for 35 years and has sung in local community groups, including the Fort Walton Beach Community Chorus. Debbie Hurt, member of Trinity and the Chancel Choir, has sung with us for 17 years. Jerry Rittenberry, Trinity Chancel Choir for three years, but has been trained classically in classical opera and musical theater. We are just privileged to have her with us. David Strout has been a member since he was small. He's been in, at Trinity and a choir member of, the, a member of the Chancel Choir for 40 years and many, many community choral groups. I myself am singing today. I have a degree in voice and have been in the music ministry for 44 years and have been here at Trinity for 14. I hope that you will enjoy listening to all of us today. But we also want to thank David Yetter, our accompaniment. Today is his birthday, and we appreciate him being here. Everybody, happy, happy birthday, birthday, David. Thank you. Our devotion text for today is John 10 through 14. John 1, 10 through 14. Please take time to read the entire passage. Our focus today is on, now are we the sons of God. John 1, 12 through 13. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but born of God. If you've received Jesus, he has given you the power to become a son of God. 1 John 3, 1 through 2 says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now are we the sons of God, right now, today. And it is only because of the magnificent, extraordinary love that God has for us. This is John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes, everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. This is God's will for everyone, that anyone and everyone who believes. Have you chosen to believe? Have you claimed Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You too can become a son of God. Contact us here at Trinity in Fort Walton Beach if you have made this decision, this, this decision. We are here for you to answer any questions and to help you in your walk. In closing, Romans 8, 6 says, to be human-minded is death, but to be spiritually-minded is life and peace. So, 
As you listen during this musical time, <clears throat> turn your mind from human things, set your mind on spiritual things. Let the light, life, and love of God, the Father, give you peace. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, what grace that you should love the world so much that while we were all dead in our trespasses and sins and not right with you, you sent Jesus to be our Savior and die for our sins. Thank you that I have been born again, born from above, born into the spiritual realm by faith, and that I am now a son of God. I pray that all those hearing these words and songs today open their hearts and choose to make you Lord of their life. Thank you for your goodness and grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Thank you.